Here is the real five best places to live around and in the San Antonio area. There's a lot of articles out there that show, oh, this is the best place to live, this is why, and here's your benefits, here's the A plus B plus C equals C. But you know what? Let me tell you the truth. I've been living here for about 11 years, and this is what I wanted to know back when I moved here. I'm Trey with the Cavalry Group, brokered by Real. Let's dive in. I did a lot of research to find which website actually gives good information. I was also a police officer in this city, so I have a lot of experience living here for the past 11 years, and this is what I would wanna know if I was moving to San Antonio. I categorized these five places to live into four categories. It's population, schools, safety and crime, and nightlife. So those four categories to me are very important. When you live in a city, sometimes the nightlife is more important. Sometimes the schools are more important. Sometimes dense or not so dense populations are important. So you decide which one's gonna be the best for you. Let's dive right in to the first area of San Antonio that I recommend. It's gonna be Terrell Hills, Almost Park, and Alamo Heights. Now those three little towns that take up a very small percentage of San Antonio. There's about 15,000 people combined in those three little towns. The towns are located in the center, a little bit east of the center uh, of the downtown area in San Antonio. Now the schools on average of those three are A rated schools according to niche.com. Now that I agree with, clients do have some really good reviews for the schools. Now safety and crime it got a B minus. For the median house price in those areas are 600 and up, so you. But it is still in the inner cities, and in pretty much any inner cities, you're going to see some crime. So the B minus was given by Niche.com. Now, if you look at the nightlife, that can be anything. It could be bars, restaurants, uh, movies, outdoor activities. That got an A rating for probably because you have so much right within those three towns, plus downtown is right next door. Number two on the list is gonna be Garden Ridge, Texas. Garden Ridge isn't in the city of San Antonio, it's just north of it, but it's pretty much a rock throw from the San Antonio city limit. The population of Garden Ridge, Texas is only 4,000 people. It's probably those three towns we mentioned earlier put together and it's the city of Garden Ridge is definitely not populated. Now the school ratings were an A, which is awesome. The safety and crime got an A minus on niche.com, which is really good. You have a lot of space between people. There's not a lot of uh, businesses or any kind of gatherings too much. And there's really no city life in Garden Ridge. So the safety and crime got an A minus. So the Garden Ridge nightlife got a C minus on niche.com. Now, if you like just partying in the country, drinking some beer, milking some cows, or just riding around the ranch and hanging out with friends, then that might be an A plus to you. So that's what I mean is the website just gives you so much information, it depends what you like. If you like being in dense crowds and crowded places, well then Garden Ridge is probably not for you. So part of the second best place to live, I know we already mentioned Garden Ridge, but the second also right next to Garden Ridge is gonna be the city of New Braunfels. So the city of New Braunfels has 80,000 people and that's a huge size because it's a city that has a lot of different things to do. Now the schools were rated as an A minus. For 80,000 people, that's a really good rating for a school district. Now on the safety and crime, Niche gives it a C plus, oh. Now for a median house price of around 400,000, that's kind of a low safety and crime rating. My belief is that the city of New Braunfels has a lot of festivals, gatherings, floating on the river, a lot of tourism, because it is a really unique town. So that could be why it just rated it a little bit less, because there's just, a lot of times there's a cluster of events going on, so maybe that has to do something to do with it. The nightlife got an A minus. So being in a very small German town, that's a lot of nightlife that happens. So that's something to consider if that's important to you. Now we're down to number three. The third best place to live is gonna be Chavano Park and Hollywood Park. Both located in a very centralized and specific location of the slightly northwest part of San Antonio. 
Now that pocket has its own police department, it has their own fire department, so it is not incorporated into the city of San Antonio services, so it has its own municipality services. For schools, you have an A minus rating. Now that pocket has its own elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, so those pockets do pay a lot of property taxes to be in that area. The safety and crime rating is gonna be around a B. Now both of them have a little bit of a difference. Hollywood Park has a little bit higher than Chavano Park, but both give a really good school rating. The nightlife got an A rating. Now it's because you're pretty much in the heart of the medical center, you're between the rim and 10 and 1604. So there is a lot to do there, a lot of nightlife for pretty much anything that you like to do. Number four on the list is going to be Shirts, Texas. Now Shirts, Texas is on the northeast side of San Antonio. It is not in the city limits, but it really is only a few minutes away. It's going to have combined 45,000 people, according to Niche. So that's the Shirts, Selma, and Cibolo areas. They're very close together, so we all kind of lump them into one area. So the Shirts, Cibolo Independent School District got an A minus rating, which is really good for the median house price, which is around 300,000. So the safety and crime rating got a B minus, which I'm kind of surprised at because it is a really quiet town. And the nightlife also got a B minus because it's a little more of a suburb feel than it is for nightlife and nightly gatherings. So those three towns are also neighbored in other little towns around it on the northeast side of the San Antonio suburbs, but for your purposes of where you wanna live, it really is lumped into kind of the northeast side. Number five, this is a really popular place to live because it does have a lot of access to pretty much anywhere in the city, and it's, drum roll, Bernie and Fair Oaks Ranch. Those two towns are very close together. They're pretty much outside of what we like to call IH10, Interstate Highway 10, and 1604. Now, Bernie started off as just a little river town right off I-10 where the lots were big. There's a lot of old town, Texas type feel. And then there was Fair Oaks Ranch, which was kind of like the suburb of that little town back in the day. Well, now there's a ton of developments around the I-10 corridor because the commercial real estate is also beefed up where you have a lot of nightlife, you have a lot of schools, and you have thoroughfares pretty much everywhere to get around very easily. So it's becoming very popular around the San Antonio suburb area. Total population for both places is around 25,000 people. Now those 25,000 people pretty much share one highway and it's three lanes in, three lanes out. So it does get a little congested. The school ratings, both got an A plus. So A plus, A plus, really good school ratings for that area. Median house price in that particular area is 325. So safety and crime got two different ratings for these two towns. So I wanted to break them down for you. So Fair Oaks Ranch got an A minus for crime and safety and Bernie got a C plus. Ooh, Bernie, how could you? So that could be for a few reasons. Maybe it's because it's the main thoroughfare for everywhere. There's, there's a lot of shopping districts inside the Bernie areas. So that could be why. Fair Oaks Ranch is a little bit further away from the main corridor in Bernie. So that could be why the crime is a little bit less, but who really knows? Bernie and Fair Oaks Ranch both got an average nightlife rating of a B minus, which is not too bad. But in Bernie, you have a lot more nightlife to do. And in Fair Oaks Ranch, it's a little more of a suburb feel. There's not much to do at night. So whichever is more important to you, now you know the information. Out of these five places to live, I gotta say each of them have different benefits, pros and cons, location, depending on where it's more important to you. So please look at all five of these, check out the Niche website, check out my website. If you have any questions, shoot me a message. Thanks for watching.